wish, dude. Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are hanging out in the Baird Barn. I promise you there's a kayak tournament involved in this video because it's happening tomorrow. This is the night before. We just got done with the Friday Night Live. Had a really good time with my buddy, Mr. Benjamin Nowak, and Mr. Jeremy from Fish and the Lone Star. So if you're not tuning in to Friday Night Lives, you need to be doing that. But I've got nothing rigged. I've got the kayak still sitting behind me, not loaded up yet. We've got to put everything together and get ready to go hit it tomorrow. But tomorrow I have zero plan i have no idea what i'm doing and so i thought i'd go ahead and shoot the intro here and now just to get that over with so i don't have to worry about it in the morning when i am figuring out where i'm going and what i'm doing i mean realistically i'm probably going to go lay in here in the bed here in just a minute and figure out what i want to go do but uh right now i'm just going to rig up a little bit of a uh general purpose rod and reel selection a general purpose bag of stuff to throw and grab a few boxes throw it in the kayak get everything into the truck and uh, we're going to get after it tomorrow and we're going to see what we can get done i've had zero practice i have no idea what the fish are doing and like i said i've not even rigged a rod yet so tomorrow is going to be a true blue shoot from the hip go figure it out and try to catch some fish but we're going to have fun and i just wanted to take a minute and say hello good morning tomorrow good night tonight thank you for taking time out of your busy day your busy week to come hang out with me and to watch this video and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and hopefully by the end of this thing because i definitely don't know yet um we'll have a w or close to a w or be in the money or just do anything other than get skunked so yeah we'll see you guys in the morning we're gonna get everything loaded up and hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode Lines in. Let's let her rip, Tater Chip. All right, guys, here we go. Number one in the morning, a little 14 incher. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Get you out of here, buddy. Thank you for participating. You don't catch that every day. That dude's out here fishing for a freaking great white. So we are gonna be running and a gunning. Just like last tournament, we are getting up, getting after it. We're going to uh, go run to another spot that's literally probably 10 minutes away. Not even 10, probably five minutes away once I get my kayak loaded up. So with the kayak loading and everything, probably 10 minutes to get to the other spot. It is currently 921 right now. So that puts me there. Let's say 940, which still gives me plenty and plenty of time to do well in this tournament. Where I'm going is gonna be a lot clearer. It's actually the river portion of this lake. And according to the TVA app at 10 o'clock, they're supposed to start dumping water out of the dam that leads into that river. And so my thought process is when that happens, it'll position some of those fish 
Um, there's a lot of pockets and little cuts off the river that I can go and fish the miles of, get back into. And there's some spots there that only I can get to into in my kayak. You know, the boaters and stuff can't get back in there to me. So yeah, we're gonna load up, we're running and gunning today and uh, go see if we can fill the limit out at spot number two. Put that fish back. <sighs> All right, guys. Here's number two, 13 and a quarter on the old jackhammer. That was a uh, weird weird deal right there I, I never felt that fish bite like never felt him bite he just kind of i was reeling it um totally lost the bladed jig and he had it so really interesting bite there problem with the bite like that is it makes you want to keep the bladed jig in your hand um but then you don't know if that's the pattern or not right so we're going to keep the bladed jig in our hand for just a minute um, winds picking up just a little bit and with the wind starting to pick up just a little bit and the current eventually picking up It's going to position these fish and that's what we're wanting. So literally just sitting on the back side of that point eating bait fish eating bluegill and uh, he Came up there and he got that jackhammer. So I'll keep this thing in our hand for a minute. See if we can put a few more into the boat Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! That damn Jim Jig Jim it. <laughs> Dang drag was backed all the way off. I don't know what happened there. There we go. There's number three. This is why you never give up, folks. This is why you never give up. And it ain't enough to win, but at least now I got a limit. Heck yeah, man. All right, folks, there we go. 14 and three quarter to round out the limit. Thank you, sir, for participating. And there you go. That's why you never give up. I've accomplished my goal, goal one for today, which is just get a limit in the boat. So now that that's done, now we go hunting for a big one. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out, that's for sure. That one was sitting on an isolated piece of cover out in the middle of the river channel. Um, guys, this is like, uh, this lake has big fish in this lake you have the potential to have a lot of fun catching big fish but all at the same time 
this lake will absolutely drive you freaking crazy um, because it's just random. Like, this is a junk fishing 101 kind of lake. I mean, you're gonna catch a few doing this, a few doing that. You know, random things where you don't think they'll be sitting, they'll be sitting there. And like the most obvious thing in the world, they won't be sitting there. But there you go. There's number three in the boat. Lucky we got him in the boat because the drag was all jacked up, but that's number three. So a goal one accomplished for today, which is get a limit in the boat. So that's done. Took a long time, but we got it done. So we've got a few more hours to fish here. We'll see if we can uh, stumble across the dad Jim Biggin. Because if we can, then uh, we honestly, we, what we would have to do is catch a really big one and upgrade once, I think, and we'd be good. So whew, there you go. I'm not a quitter but I know when to say stop and it is time to say stop. Current time is 1.47, so we got like 10 minutes until line's out. I'm back down here at the boat ramp and uh, I fished my ass off today. I'll tell you that much. And it was a certified East Tennessee grinder. I'm sitting in like 10th or 11th, I think. Well, when I looked before Turning X got shut off, I was sitting in 10th or 11th. I had a like 20, 22, so right about middle of the pack and the thing was is like it was stacked i mean there was just so many people who caught you know around 40 inches which i think that's what i ended up having was 40 or 42 inches or something like that so tough i got three bites today got every one of them into the kayak which you can't complain about that but it was tough so yeah we're gonna get the kayak loaded up here we're gonna go to the meetup grab us something to eat and i'll see you guys back at the house grinder ladies and gentlemen certified east tennessee grinder is what yesterday was ended up 15 out of 22 not exactly where i wanted to end it but it was pretty funny when you looked at the leaderboard yesterday because like 10th through 15th were all tied and then 15th through 18th were tied i mean it was it was pretty funny and we were all separated by like an inch and a quarter at most and like i said at the beginning of yesterday's video whoever could have found that little bit bigger than average you know that 16 17 inch fish and then catch them a big one would end up winning and what ended up winning was like a 19 and a half and a couple 16s so congratulations to that guy uh, jordan marshall's his name that dude he's a he's a hammer i've i've come below him many a times in kayak tournaments and come seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths to that guy so good job to him for figuring out the bite but i'm really honestly satisfied with what i got done showing up with no practice not having any idea what the bite was moving in the middle of the day you can't really complain because my two goals yesterday were figure out a bite catch a limit and that is what i did but yeah i thought i'd talk about what i was throwing what i was throwing it on to catch the fish that i did a couple of my fish to help me with my limit came on the Berkeley General 5 inch. This is the Max Scent. I threw black and blue and baby bass. Black and blue when I was in that little bit dirtier water in the morning, and then baby bass when I got off in that little bit clearer water in the afternoon. Throwing that on a number one size owner octopus, some 10 pound FC Sniper fluorocarbon, 20 pound uh, braid for my main line, and then a Zeta 300 by Abu Garcia for my reel. Veritas PLX 7 foot medium fast. And yeah, first fish came on a rock point. The second fish came on an isolated piece of cover out in the middle of the river channel, which like I said, there's like no rhyme or reason, very obvious things that they were on, but no like pattern to be had. So yeah, fish some really big obvious things and got some bites. And then my second fish to help me with my limit actually came on the old jackhammer. This is a really special jackhammer. It's the Jackhammer TG. This is actually a true blue evergreen jackhammer. It's not a Z-Man jackhammer. This thing came straight from Japan. These aren't available in America. You can get them on eBay and lure shop, Japan lure shop and stuff like that. But um, TG is a tungsten resin headed jackhammer. A lot of people think that jackhammers have tungsten heads and they don't. Um, they're actually a lead head, but there's a version of the jackhammer called the TG, which is this one, and it's that tungsten resin. And I'll be honest, I don't know if it makes a huge difference or if there's any difference at all. I have noticed it knocks maybe a slight bit harder, and it hunts just a little bit different. I don't know if that's due to the tungsten head or what it is, but throwing that thing, it's a matte black color. That's really the reason I bought it is because of that matte black color. I thought that was really cool. I wanted to experiment with the TG, see if it made a difference, but then I also love that matte black. But it's throwing matte black, 3 8 ounce with a big bot baits swim on on the back actually got that little swim on in the monster bass bag we were talking about some of the baits from big bite and we wanted a really good bladed jig spinner bait 
you know, swim jig trailer. And I said, get the swim on. Fell in love with the swim on last year during the whole fire crawl craze because they make a color called flamethrower that matches up with the fire crawl really well. And so, yeah, I love the swim on. Got the black and blue. I have personally bought fire crawl, green pumpkin, white. Really, really good um, trailer for bladed jigs especially. But yeah, come in the Monster Bass bag. So really, really cool pickup there. And then I was throwing that on a 7.5 medium heavy fast action Abu Garcia winch. And this is a really special rod because this is actually their bladed jig rod. And this rod is wicked for bladed jigs. It's a fast action, but it's a composite. So it's not like a normal fast action, like your flipping stick or something. Where this thing's composite, it's got a lot of glass in it. So you get that good parabolic bend. It loads really, really well. It's gonna keep that fish's mouth from getting blown open by the blade on the front of that bladed jig. But it shuts off a little bit higher up in the blank so you can really drive that big bladed jig hook in. So if you've not checked this thing out, you need to. I'm absolutely in love with it. Just amazing bladed jig rod. You guys know I'm weird about bladed jig rods and that thing right there is, is the kitty's titties. But yeah, 7.5 medium fast action winch. And then I had that paired up with an Abu Garcia Max 6.4 gear ratio and some 17 pound fluorocarbon. And that little Max, $45 reel. Um, you know me, I love taking really affordable reels and seeing if I can break them. So I threw this thing on the bladed jig rod because I knew the bladed jig rod would get a lot of action this year. It seems that they're wanting to eat a bladed jig. And so I'm excited to experiment. Finally get some of those stealth blades on uh, order because I have not experimented with that thing yet. So we're gonna experiment with the stealth blade and everything like that. But yeah, that's what I caught my fish on. Caught a lot of fish, didn't just catch a lot of the right fish. Um, we did what we set out to do and I'm happy with it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy day, your busy week to come hang out with me. If you wanna check out any of the gear, especially that bladed jig rod, I have it linked down below. You can go click that link. I'll make sure and put the size of everything, line size, all that will be linked down below so you guys can go check it out. But as always, you guys are all sweet and thank you for watching.